Hey guys, even here, third video today, I know I was not expecting to be making another video today and I was not expecting to be making this video anytime soon. This is not a good story, I hate to be doing this, but it has to be covered, so... This one really hits home, to be honest. Uh, basically, Milos Archev and Samson Dauda parted ways after about three years, two and a half years of working together. They are no longer coach and client. And like I said, this really hits home because, as some of you guys know, Milos is from Serbia, and I'm from Serbia as well. And I was really hoping that Milos is going to finally win one Mr. Olympia he came very close, he has so many accomplishments so far, he is one of the greatest coaches of today, but he never won a Mr. Olympia with his client, and I thought he was so close, but Samson decided to stop working with Milos, or Milos decided to stop working with him, we don't know that, what we do know is what we can see right here, so let me read to you what Milos has to say, so he says, after two and a half years, and 13 shows together. This was our last dance. Needless to say, I am beyond proud of Samson and what he has accomplished in a very short time that we worked together. He has completely transformed his physique and morphed into one of the best bodybuilders in the world and a greatest threat for the Mr. Olympia title. As the whole world knows, with improved conditioning that we failed to bring, he would be extremely hard to beat. Wishing Samson and Marlena all the best in the world, and most importantly for Samson, fulfillment of his destiny, hashtag the next. So, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, they parted ways, and I don't think this is, you know, something that happened in a moment, and they're gonna change their mind, Milos is pretty clear that this was it. Now, if you guys watched my previous video of earlier today, Samson basically had a sort of a breakdown, a meltdown, on his Instagram, on his story, he was very emotional, he was very angry, which is very strange, very unusual for Samson, and I'm afraid that maybe, and I'm gonna try to be as respectful as possible to Samson and Milush, and I'll try not to speculate too much, but I mean everybody must be thinking this, that maybe Samson made a rash decision, he seems like he was an emotional wreck right now, which is pretty common, which happens when you are so low in body fat, I mean, he wasn't that low, but you know what I mean, when you are taking what he's taking, you know, all that stuff considered, you're not gonna be at your clearest of mind at that time, and I don't think that's the time to make any big decisions like this. Like I said, this is just speculation, but I know everybody's thinking that. It could be that Samson decided this way before they even started this prep. Maybe they had an agreement that this is gonna be their last prep together. But I honestly doubt that. I really doubt that. What do you guys think? Here is another video that Milos took at 4.30 a.m. on Friday before the pre-judging. And as you can see, Samson was in okay conditioning, his usual conditioning. It wasn't anything crazy, it wasn't anything new. I'm not even sure if it was better than the Arnold Classic 2023 when he won. I don't think it was. I think that show was his best conditioning. But, you know, he was okay. He was good. He was definitely significantly improved muscularity-wise, especially the back and also shoulders and arms. You can definitely see that very clearly. But conditioning wasn't exactly great. And also, in that story, those stories that Samson posted on his uh, Instagram, he says that after prejudging, everybody told him that he was very close to Hadi. So, he did something drastic. He did something crazy to dry out for Saturday night. And he says that he regrets doing that now. And also he talks about how his body is shutting down, how he has some health issues right now. So I don't want to speculate, but everybody is talking about this. You can see it in every comment section. Basically, people are saying that maybe he did something so drastic that Milos told him to do. And that's why he decided to stop working with him because he's scared now or whatever, something like that. That, I believe, is nonsense. Samson is not a child. He's gonna do what he thinks makes sense. Nobody's gonna tell him what to do if he doesn't feel comfortable with it. 
also here is a comment from Fuad Abiyad who is sponsoring Samson who is a friend with Samson who spoke to Samson on the phone a couple of times and this is what Fuad has to say Samson has no health issues Samson is not in the hospital and Samson is not retiring that should clear up some of the rumors before they start Milos you've done a good job with Samson congrats on your partnership so no Samson has no health issues he's just sick it happens to everybody Fuad also replied to many comments in the comment section of uh, Milos's post and basically what he's saying is that you know Samson is just a little bit sick he's gonna recover and that's about it he's just not very healthy right now to train he's got a cold or something like that you know nothing special so once again I don't know what's the reason why these guys stopped working together if Milos wanted to say it he would write it he knows very well that everybody literally everybody wants to know why what's the reason but if he didn't want to say it right there I don't want to ask him I don't want to bother him I don't feel privileged enough to ask for such information I would not be asking out of curiosity I would be asking for content because I want to make a video about it so you know it would be too selfish to ask something like that if he wants to reveal it he will speak about it like I said uh, on one of his podcasts or he's gonna make a post so I'm sure soon enough you're gonna have more info but maybe we'll never find out what exactly happened maybe it's something you know maybe it's actually something but maybe maybe it's as simple as Samson wants to hire somebody who is more known for bringing conditioning for example Chris Asito Chris Asito seems like a reasonable choice at this point if Chris Asito can pull out something like he did with Sean Roden in 2018 that would be pretty epic and I know some people personally who were coached by Chris Asito and that guy is freaking hardcore you know he goes crazy on that diet Milos he's not really known for that he's the kind of guy that tries to save as much muscle as possible he's the kind of coach you hire when you want to get to the next level of muscularity when you want to grow as fast as possible when it comes to conditioning there are different coaches who are maybe more specialized for that Chris Asito could probably never grow a bodybuilder I mean everybody who was coached by Chris Asito they're all saying that he doesn't do anything in the offseason he doesn't even do off seasons he just lets you eat do whatever and then when it comes to prep he is the one who's gonna get you shredded and dry so for Samson and his freaking thick skin or whatever it is I think Chris Asito would make a lot of sense maybe not Chris Asito necessarily but some of the coaches who are known for bringing hard conditioning so maybe maybe if it's not all genetic maybe somebody else can bring that crazy level of conditioning out of Samson but you gotta give Milos props for one thing he is the one that made Samson the star he is today do not tell me it's Samson who did it no no it's Milos before Milos sure Samson was already a pretty good bodybuilder he was a pro here he was before Milos Archev I mean he was struggling to win uh, low level pro shows like he was battling against Regan Grimes and Rafael Brandau and he was losing he was top three top five and so on and then when he stopped working alone and he had no coach before he started working with uh, John Meadows for a short time and then uh, unfortunately John Meadows passed away and then Milos took over and then in only a couple of years Samson literally had a metamorphosis he completely transformed his physique he grew so much muscle it was crazy he became a different bodybuilder and he was at this level for a long time before Milos he was struggling and yeah sure you could say any coach would make Samson what he is today but it wasn't any coach it was Milos maybe Honey Rambo would do the same thing maybe Matt Jensen maybe Neil Hill or whoever but none of these guys did what Milos did he made the top three bodybuilder in the world and if you ask me the best physique right now sure not the best conditioning yeah I know that's required in order to win a show you need to have shredded glutes you need to have deep separation I get it but as far as muscularity as far as fullness as far as development Milos helped him get all that and even like that again he won the Arnold Classic last year against Nick Walker third at the Mr. Olympia second at the Arnold Classic this year won so many shows he did so many great things with Milos but that era is over this show was their last dance 
and I think this was the best Samson so far, even though I really wanted to see Milos win the Mr. Olympia with Samson, I still wish Samson all the best, because I really like the guy, I like his physique, and I want to see him finally get shredded, so... Whatever he does next, I hope he's gonna choose another coach, he's not gonna prep himself or something like that, hopefully he's gonna go with somebody like Chris Asito and actually fulfill his potential, come in peeled, shredded and win the Mr. Olympia. But as far as him and Milos go, as for right now, as far as we know, these guys are done and uh, honestly it's a sad day for me but maybe new coach is gonna work out more for Samson at this point of his career, so in that sense, and I hate to say it, but it could be a good thing for Samson, I don't know, I don't know guys, we'll see, tell me what you guys think about this whole situation down below in the comment section, like this video, and for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel guys, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye bye.